people who live in a city where they can get access to food so easily never understand the devastating truth about hunger. Like this boy who lives in the city can get access to snacks whenever he wants. Until one day he came across a sad news on the TV. Then he realized. Scores of residents gather to plead for food aid as a COVID-19 lockdown grips Cambodia's capital. Phnom Penh authorities imposed. In Preavia province in northern Cambodia, 44.3% of children under 5 suffer from stunted growth as a result of chronic undernutrition, the highest prevalence in the country. More than 13% of children in the province are acutely undernourished, which is close to emergency levels. Among indigenous communities in Preavia, 93% of people do not have access to latrines, and 60% do not have access to safe water. This is the moment when he realized that he has been wasting food all his life. Now let's take a look at Mr. Petpisat as an environmental activist sharing his concerns. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. My name is Petpisat and I'm here today to talk about one huge problem in Cambodia which is hunger and food waste. Well, one of the main problems that lead to hunger in Cambodia is food waste. As I mentioned above, people who has comfortable lives like the teenage boy earlier, as you can see, do not understand the problem of hunger. And in Cambodia, food waste account for 60% of total solid waste in Phnom Penh, and it caused a huge problem. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, each year around 1.3 billion tons of food is being wasted, and that is about one third of the food produced around the world. Well, food waste is a poison. It destroys the roots of the world, the environment, the energy that used to produce those food in the first place, and the bellies that should have been yielded from those wasted nutrition. This problem of food waste leads to hunger of all kinds. First, I'm going to talk about undernourishment. Around 15% of the country's 16 million people suffers from undernourishment. According to the World Food Program, this percentage amounts for the more than 2 million people throughout the country. And this is how they're living, as you can see. They are living in poverty. And that's the, also the cause of undernourishment. Well, the second problem is agriculture and natural disasters. As we all know, in Cambodia, around 79% of the population lives in rural areas and 65% rely on agriculture, fisheries and forestry to survive. Natural disasters like floods, as you can see around me, and droughts often threaten the countries and therefore are extremely damaging to the food system. Lastly, I would like to talk about rice and seasonal shortage. Of the country's 1.6 million households, two thirds face seasonal shortage each year. And many Cambodians are rice farmers. In fact, rice alone account for as much as 30% of household spending. And with this condition, like drought around me, how could they make food? How could they produce uh, yields, rice yields that could uh, fill in their bellies? Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, I'm going to talk about the chronic mouth malnutrition and stunning. As you know, about 14% of Cambodian children suffer from chronic malnutrition, which stunts the growth and the cognitive development of 32% of Cambodian children under five years old. This high statistic is mainly due to the nutrient deficiency, according to the World Vision, and this stunning contributes to increased child mortality as children are more vulnerable to infection and disease. Additionally, 10% suffers from wasting, 
low weight to high ratio. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the statistics and facts about hunger and the main cause of it. So please do not waste food as it is the root to disaster events. Yet eat all your food so you can make fruits for the environment. Thank you.